Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where John and I are speaking to the fabulous, the one and only number one baby boomer who tells us how to embrace such a boom, Bill Jordan. Bill Jordan, as ever was. Thank you, guys. This is what makes you the number one baby boomer, Bill, your book. Um, well, and the Embrace the Boom movement. I don't know if uh, everybody gets moved by it as I do, but this book is really uh, filled with great wisdom. Not a, not a very thick book, as you can see. You can but read I wanted to ask you, where did you get the idea for this? Um, I, I assume it's been very popular, and it's so easy to read and anywhere in the house, pick it up, good advice, common sense. What yeah. made you do this? I've always been uh, attracted to really good quotes, historical figures or whatever, you know, motivational quotes. I've always liked that. And, um, you know, keep it simple. You know, we always hear that. Keep it simple. Sure. Ears, one mouth, listen more than we speak, stuff like yeah. that. And so I had uh, I had determined for myself, I made up my mind that back in the fall of 2019, I was going to do a series of YouTube videos. And I, it's on YouTube still under Embrace the Boom channel. I need to do some new stuff. I haven't done anything in quite a while. Life has been a, kind of wacky. Um, but I made 15 practices. Quite honestly, there are 16. But I announced it as 15. Number 16 is my favorite. And it's what ties all of them together. But I'm not going to tell you what, what that is. So anyway, I made those videos and then I thought, well, hey, you know, people want they were asking me about T-shirts and stuff. It's like, well, T-shirts get forgotten. I drink coffee every day. Yeah. So how yeah. about mugs? So had a bunch of mugs made up. These are twenty dollars shipping, free shipping anywhere in the U.S. I know twenty bucks is a lot for a mug, maybe. But again, with free shipping and it's a 15 ounce. It's not a cup. OK, this is a sturdy mug and it's you know left handed, right handed, whatever it might be. So there's that. <laughs> But uh, anyway, then after I got the videos going, then I thought, well, you know, why not write a book? And I've got a friend who's a publisher, Webster Falls Publishing. He was actually my traffic guy. He used to fly around in a Cessna over Raleigh and do our uh, radio traffic reports in the morning. And he, he's, his, he's a publisher, so it's not like being self-published. Um, so I came up with this book idea. Took a, took a while, editing and all that stuff, and my writing and everything. And I couldn't, you know, it is it is a simple book. It is a it's a short book. You can read it on a lunch hour. And I had people say, you need to flesh it out some more. You need to make it, it needs to be bigger. And it's like, well, one, in my radio career, we were kind of trained or hammered into it's not trained. Don't take a minute to say what takes you can say in 30 seconds. Don't say in 30 seconds what you can say in 15 seconds. So this is brief by design, plus one of the practices is keep it simple. That's why a black and white mug and not colors. It's simple. Keep it simple. Uh, you know, it's the ultimate sophistication, Leonardo da Vinci. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. So, I mean, some of the practices. Um, be careful about what you want, giving up what you want most for what you want now. That's the essence of self-discipline. Two ears, one mouth, as I said before. The keep it, keep it simple, take nothing personally. That is a really hard one. Number one, and it's a foundation for everything, is an attitude of gratitude. Uh, to, to truly wake up in the morning and just tick off things and make it different every day and be very specific about things you are grateful for. Um, it's just a way that is helping me live a better life. My wife has noticed that I am more patient. Now, I'll still, I'm, I'm human. You know, I can, typically, if I'm out on the road, somebody's going to light my fuse real quickly, cut me off or something. But I'm able to reel that in a little more quickly. I'm I'm willing to allow people to be themselves. Stop expecting me from others. I wouldn't do that, so they shouldn't do that kind of thing. <coughs> Quite honestly, I guess, guys, I probably wrote the book for me to help me. Plus, as um, a legacy for my my grandkids, that one day that they will happen upon Poppy's book, and maybe they'll think it's worth reading. Well, Bill, I got to I got to tell you that I think it's a legacy for more than your grandkids for the rest of us, too. I want to read something from that you wrote in the beginning of the book here. Uh, it says, if you're reading this, I believe that you still have a mission, a reason for living. 
here's a crazy notion that I've got. I believe it is 65. I can get better. Yes, I believe that I can become a better human being. And I have to tell you, Bill, I think this book is is a very fun, short way to do that for all of us. So I want to thank you. Great book. And I also want to recommend everybody embrace the boom as we get older. Yeah, this you get this at Bill Jordan, embrace the boom.com. Simple matter of ordering it. I'm actually in my bonus room, which is also my mug processing center. <laughs> and uh Amazon.com's got the book. Barnes and Noble's got the book. Target.com, Walmart.com, and I think on Walmart it, it, at uh, Amazon it's 12 percent off right now. It's under 12 dollars right now. And again, quick read, but then people keep it handy. They keep it on their nightstand. They keep it in their bathroom. Yep. Uh, I've got fr female friends that keep it in their purse, and they'll just pick it up sometime. And they just just a little. It's just a little booster shot of something that we maybe should practice. To, to live a better, calmer, more fulfilling uh, life. It does work for me. I, I'd like to say this as well, that um, while uh, we, we've actually had uh, other authors on, and uh, Jay Jans being one, and um, uh, Herbie uh, Pilato, uh, that those we often say, and this is a perfect gift for Christmas or New Year's or Mother's Day, this is a good, perfect gift for yourself. So, I I would say this. I've I've read it uh, several times. Uh, there's always something interesting in that stuff we know, okay. Yeah. But we can't necessarily articulate constantly. You've sat down. You've done. I know you've been quoting to us in early conversations, both on and off air. Seneca, Plato, Aristotle. You just. You've done a, a great deal of reading, and what you've done is you put common sense information into this book that we all there's probably nothing new in any of this other than it's written down in a nice organized way. And yes, number 16, get the book and turn to 16 and then let us know what you think. Yeah, I appreciate that. And you know, talking about gift for yourself, but I'm also honored, even though this is written with the baby boomer in mind. Um, <laughs> I've gotten a lot of uh, notes from people who have given this book to high school graduates, college graduates. Sure. Um, sure. There's, I, I truly wish I'd had this book or something similar encapsulated and condensed um, when I was 16, when I was 18, when I was yeah. 21. And really, and again, again, it's practices. We never get this right. We never really, really figure out life in the best way to be. We're never as calm as maybe we should be, or as patient as maybe we should mm -hmm. be. But this will help remind you, and you will catch yourself in those instances of losing patience or, or losing your calmness. When you, when you find yourself quick-tempered, I find myself catching myself now, and I'm able to reel that in, you know what I mean? Good, good things to practice. So, Bill, thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for letting me share about that. Live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. Here, here. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.